Hello guys and welcome back to the start for art. I've got another really cool tutorial for you guys out there. If there are any beginners looking at this video, this is really going to help you in your journey with computer graphics. And the idea is to make patterns and <clears throat> put the typography we make into the pattern so it makes this cool design. Okay, so if you guys don't know how to make patterns, um, you can watch this bit, or maybe you can skip ahead if you already have a pattern in mind. But just copy what I'm doing now if you're a beginner and you don't know how to do this. So what I've just done, I've selected a star, I've got the pen tool, and I've gone around the sort of edges here where the anchor point is, just to delete the anchor points to make a triangle. I also made a tutorial, tutorial on how to do that. So if you want to check that out, you can check my channel. So I'm going to, I think I'll go with two different alternations in colour. I think I'll go with the red. I'll flip this triangle over, reflect, horizontal. Okay, and I'll align it up. And I think I'll go with an orange for this one. Okay, so maybe a lighter orange. Let's try this. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so to create the pattern, make sure the first two triangles are aligned, you know, correctly. Make sure there's no white gaps. You can either even zoom in by controlling the plus to zoom in and controlling the minus to zoom out. So just make sure they're aligned right. I think that'll do. It'll do. Okay, so select all of these. Con um, control C, Control V to paste. Hopefully you already know that. So select them all again and just keep doing that until you sort of horizontally fill the page with triangles. Okay, you can also highlight everything, hold shift, go to the corner and scale it down so you can add more triangles in. Okay, let's do one more maybe. Okay. Okay, oops. There we go. So let's try and fit these all on the page, scale them down. Right. So what you want to do now, copy them all and paste them slightly below and do that again. Okay, so now we have a really simple pattern we can play with with the type. So if we get the type tool, you guys can type whatever you got whatever you want really. So I think I'll make a thumbnail as I'm going along with this video. So it'll be how to um, how to add pattern into into your typography. Okay. So you want to get the type. I'll scale it down a tiny bit so it fits in. So you can place it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter too much, but once you've found a placement, select everything and make clipping mask. So now you have the pattern we've just made into this typography, and look how cool this looks. Such a simple idea, yet yeah, such an amazing sort of outcome. So you can sort of enhance the way the type looks by making a background. So let's say if it was a light yellow, <clears throat> send that to the back, let's make it a bit more, maybe this, okay. Y you can play around with it, you could even make a white background, send that there, okay. So these are just different ways you can sort of enhance the type you've made, okay. But hopefully this has helped, you know, helping you guys add pattern into your type because I've, if I know, if I was a beginner someone showed me this type and said recreate that, I'd have no idea so hopefully you new guys out there you've learnt something new today which I hope have helped you with you guys can try this at home, experiment with it download Illustrator and have fun and I hope to see you in the next video I've got a lot more tutorials coming please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching, goodbye